Hello friends, welcome to the Be Learning Club YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you how can you create a blog website with Django within a small amount of time. So without wasting any time, let's start. So at first open CMD and just create a Django project and the Django application. So my project name is project and app name is blog and now edit it with any code editor so now go to project and go to settings and at first you have to install the apps so here just install the app name blog and save it and now go to blog and now go to model here just create a model for your blog so just create a model class my blog inherit from models dot model and now create some fields for your blog so here is title field description field and slack field so title field is character field and max length is 100 and now slack field slack field i will use in url and this is very much important And now you can use DES for description field and here just type models dot text field and now create the str function DEA str and just pass the self argument and just return self dot title and inside the slack field just add the max length also max length is 100 or 150 it's your choice and now type blank equal true and null equal true and so now go to the admin.py and register the model at first so just go to admin.py here just register the model at first you have to import the model also so just from dot model import my block model and now register the model so just type admin dot site dot register and now register your model so what is the model name is my blog and now go to views so here i need two views one is list view and the other is detail view so just create a function for list view list blog and now another function this is for detail blog detail block and both take request argument and just pass the request here also and now here inside the list block you have to grab all objects so just create a variable obj so what is obj obj is models dot object dot all so at first you have to import the model so what is your model so the model is mm, my blog so just import my blog models from dot models and here obj equal my blog dot object dot all so grab the all objects and now here just return render and pass request argument at first and now just give the template name so for list just use list.html and now pass the django variable obj means this so here just pass obj so here i use elisa list list equal what obj so obj is this and i use list uh, inside the template list.html so at first i comment out this and now go to the templates so here you have to create a folder name templates T -E -M -P -L -A -T -E -S, templates inside the block and now inside the templates you have to create list.html and just i want to go bootstrap and copy the starter template so just go to the bootstrap and copy the starter template and here just paste it and I just changed it 
our blog website our blog website and just add here a bootstrap class text center you can design it yourself better uh, so here I just so I'll just let it and now go to the CMD oh before you go to the CMD you have to set the URLs also so here just include the blog path at first so here just type path then just remove this because I used it as a landing page so here just I path then include blog dot url so I have to create urls dot py inside the blog folder and you have to import also include from django dot url okay so now go to the blog and here just create urls dot py okay so here I basically use the map okay so I just copy all of these and here just paste it and remove these also remove admin from here so you don't need this line so just remove these and now remove also this and this is our landing page and here the views is what the views is list view so you have to import the list view from view so just import from dot views import list import list view list block okay so here just pass this function list block and name of the url is what name of the url is list so you can choose any name and now this is the landing page okay so everything is fine and now just open cmd and make migration and migrate the model and now migrate the model and now create a super user so the name is admin and just give a email and just type a password password is admin okay so just do it and now go to list.html here just create a for loop for grabbing the all objects from the django variable obj so just create here a for loop so inside a container uh, container you in -A -I -N -A, container just create a for loop here so for x in what is our django variable list okay so we'll just type here for x in list and now just here in the for loop at first so in for and now here grab the title of your blog so just type here uh, h3 tag and put the title inside h3 tag so what is our title h dot title title is the field you can see and now here just grab some sum of line description so just type x dot def df is a field for description and now here you can filter it by truncate word so just type trunk word truncate word t r u n t a t e w o r d s truncate word uh, i actually i misspelled this so just start for google and just start for django truncate word okay so what is the spelling truncate word okay i just copy it and paste here okay so i don't i i didn't misspelled it and now here just i want to show first 20 truncate uh, first 20 words inside the description so i just put it inside p tag and just copy it and paste here and add a class name lead lead is the bootstrap class you already know about it and here just give a margin margin top 
uh, one and here just one second one one scene one scene top four okay so now run the server python manage dot py run server so now run the localhost and you can see it so just go to the admin and create some block so what is your username admin and just use the password admin and now this is your block model and just go to the block and create some block so just give a title and give a slack field and give a description so now just fill up all of this and just save and add another so now also save this and add some more block here and save last one more block so now save this and now run the localhost and you can see all of this so now when you click on the title then you can see all uh, you can see the full block about this so here you can see just only 20 words and now go to the list here just add a anchor tag so when you click on the title then you can go to the detail page of the blog so here just type hyper reference and just type url and here just type name of the url and then pass the id and what is the name of the url i have not defined yet so just let it blank and now go to views.py here just define a detail block function and now give one more argument id because i already passed id with url so here i can use it and now here just create an object and object is what get object or 404 get object or 404 at first you have to import get object or 404 from django.shortcuts so now just type your model name so the model name is my blog and now filter it by id so id is what id equal id and this id i just passed with url okay so now return and render just type return and now render and at first type the request argument and now your html page name so for detail page i just use detail.html and now pass the django variable obj so here i use detail page for detail and detail equal obj this obj is this obj and i use detail inside uh, detail.html so now go to templates here just create detail.html and i just copy all of these and paste here and now just remove this for loop and here just inside h3 tag put the title of the blog what is the title uh, just so here django variable is detail so now here just type detail dot title so this is the title of the block and title is the field inside the model and now here inside p tag just put the description so just type detail dot des des is a field of description so just here add a class lead and march in top one two so here just do the hr tag and you can just remove this also okay so now go to urls.py here just create a path for your detail page so here use id you can you can use id so just put inside it id and now just slash or enter any path name so here just block slash id and now import the detail block function and here just type detail block function and name of the url is detail this is very very important 
okay so just use this name detail inside list dot html here url and detail this is the name of the url okay so everything is fine so now run the server so run the server so just run it so this is what so just go to list.html here is the anchor tag and now okay just save it this is the hyper reference okay so just put inside in a invited comma so just put this inside a quotation and here is the hyper reference oh this i misspelled it so this is h e f not this is hyper reference h r e f okay now save it and now go to views and now save it now run the server python manage.py run server so you can see just run the local host so you can see the blogs so if you click on this so this is the detail page of the blog and you can just center uh, centerize the title so just here add a class text center so now refresh it and this is your blog and this is the list view so here is another method you can go to the detail page by get absolute url method for this you have to go to the model and now here just create a function get absolute url get underscore absolute underscore url and now just pass the self argument and now return return and then type reverse so you have to import reverse from django dot url import reverse okay so now here use the reverse so here just you have to type at first namespace so what is the namespace of url so this is the detail so just copy it and go to models and paste here so this urls.py is inside the block application so you do not uh, need to write blog block then detail so you can simply write detail because this urls.py is inside the block and now pass the arguments and now pass sales dot id okay so now go to the list html and here you can use now get absolute url so now copy this get absolute url and now go to list html and now remove this and just type here x dot get absolute url so now save it and now go to urls dot by save it and models dot by save it so everything is okay so now run the server so just type python manage dot py run server so just run the local host and you can see it now click on block so this is the detail page of any block okay you can also use the slack uh, slack field means here inside the url here you can use the slack field okay so for this just here pass sales dot slack and now go to um, urls dot py and change it to slack you can use slack and now go to views dot py here just pass instead uh, pass slack instead of id and here just match it slack equal slack okay so this slack is in your slack field and this slack is this okay so this slack is this and this is your uh, field actually this so now save it and run the server and now here just refresh it and now go to any block so here you can change so here you can see the url has changed so this is actually your slack field and now just click on this blog and here you can see the url has been changed okay so in that way you can use the slack field in your url 
so that's it for basic blog tutorial and you can do advanced your blog website so for this just go to be learning club channel here go to playlist here you can see django project for beginners just watch the videos and you can add a lot of things like pagination so this is the pagination you can see it page one of three page one uh, page two of three so you can add pagination in your blog website and and you can also add more advanced feature like rich text editor like tiny mc text editor like pagination search option filter your query and django tag it a lot of things so just watch these of tutorials so thanks for watching the video i hope you enjoy this video see you in next video so thank you friends and don't forget to subscribe the channel